down the mountain. Um, just didn't find a ram big enough. Um, and so we're gonna try to drop down and just kind of get to this other mountain range and see what we can see. It takes a lot of energy to get up here. So hopefully our relocation, we can dig up some more um, big rams. You know, the rams that we were on, one of them was, he was good, he was big. But just not not quite big enough for um, for what we're looking for. So yeah, this is it. Doesn't really get any better than this though. Waking up on the top of a mountain and then hiking to the next one. It's pretty fun. No other hunt requires this much energy, this much hiking. And that's why we hunt doll sheep, you know? It's the ultimate test to your endurance, your strength, your mental toughness. Because you gotta climb mountains, period. That's it. There's no way around it. You gotta climb, you gotta be up where these sheep live. And that's that's it. There's no uh, there's no shortcuts when you're sheep hunting. And win or lose when you're sheep hunting, it is addictive. Nothing can be really described accurately unless you're up there and you do it. And you've got to do it. You've got to try it. You've got to push yourself to the next level and and earn it. Got a little family coming. Check us out. know you're in sheep country. Ptarmigan are these little uh, Alaskan birds. They're pretty awesome. They taste great. They're like a grouse. You can get right up close to them. But I only want to kill one if we're in a dire situation. If we need to really get some food. And I could. Uh, they're really tame. I can take one out with one of my trekking poles or a rock. So um, they're right behind me. They're just kind of sticking three or four feet ahead of me. This whole time just kind of hanging out with them. I ran into a couple groups and... I'm going to get some video of them just so you can see. Yeah, they're pretty cool little birds. They, uh, they're they pretty camouflaged right now with their coloring, and in the winter they'll turn white, and they'll be really, really, really cool. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, you practically have to step on them before you see them. You can kind of see them running up that drainage. We're gonna keep hiking. We have to get to the top of that saddle and then we're gonna hike up another mountain and try to get to another place to camp and a place to see tons of sheep country. So that's our goal. And uh, we're gonna keep moving and, and let these ptarmigan be and let them hang out around us. They're not gonna be a, a dinner or lunchtime snack today. All right, we peeled off the mountain today, camping down a little bit lower in the, in the blueberries. Came down off that point. It's quite the uh, descent. Saw a big black bear. Actually, saw a couple big black bears. We are finally not sleeping in the rocks, which is awesome. We're both pretty excited about that. Got my little shelter set up already. This tundra with the blueberries and all that stuff, it's like a pillow. And especially when you're sleeping on the rocks, been sleeping in rocks the last few nights, it's gonna feel like the Hilton. <laughs> 